Entrepreneurs Academy's 12th Annual Saunders Scholars National Competition. Presented by RIT, Saunders College of Business, Southwest Airlines, and the Saunders Foundation. Hello, America, and welcome to the final round of the 12th annual Young Entrepreneurs Academy Saunders Scholars Competition. Live from 13 Wham ABC in Rochester, New York, I'm Dan Schrack. And I'm Andrew Banus. We're thrilled to be here with you today. Shortly, the top eight businesses from kids across the nation selected earlier today by our esteemed panel of judges will pitch their businesses and inventions in hopes of being named America's next top young entrepreneur. Finalist number one from Palatine, Illinois, the CEO of Flavorfy, Ashan Batra. It's time to begin the competition and bring our first competitor to the screen. Here we go. First up is a 13-year-old from Palatine, Illinois, who plays the trombone and is hoping to forever change the way people with food allergies live their lives. His company, Flavorfy, please welcome Ashan Batra. Very excited to see this. Yes, we are going to get those panel of judges up in just a moment. Please bear with us. This is new technology. Here we go. I think I speak for money when I say that quarantine has brought up a chef in each of us. And most of us get to enjoy that. We can cook to our heart's content. But not everyone has that privilege. Over 60% of the U.S. population lives with some form of dietary restriction. They can't just cook everything they want. Their solution? FlavorFyRecipes.com. Hi, I'm Michonne Batra, the CEO of Flavorfy LLC. Flavorfy Recipes is a site that aims to make everyday recipes accessible to a wider audience. It does this using ingredient substitutes, allowing users to freely change in common ingredients for their given substitutes in any recipe. The problem is, my future users don't even know that this technology exists. That leads me to my main modes of marketing. I will be advertising through Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I chose these platforms because they have a large presence of food-related content on them. Another way I am planning to advertise is through brand deals. Many companies specialize in more dietary-friendly ingredients. For example, Red Mill specializes in dietary-friendly flour. Partnering with companies like this can be extremely beneficial both to me and to my potential customers who will be able to find out about flavor fry recipes more easily. And the best part about the site is it can really be used by anyone, if you have a restriction or not. I'm sure we've all been in a situation where we wanted to make something at home, but we really don't have all the ingredients. So what do you do? Go to flavorfryrecipes.com, find the substitute, put it in the recipe, and you're done. So what's the game? Because my operating and maintenance costs are extremely low, the profit has nowhere to go but up. Revenue is made up of, subs of subscriptions that are either $6.99 a month or $59.99 a year. These numbers, along with my projections, result in a break even in the middle of my first year at just 50 subscribers. And now I'm sure you're asking, how does something like this work? And to that, I say, like this. This is an example recipe for snickerdoodles. When you hover on an ingredient, as shown here, a box pops up with all of the available substitutes for that ingredient. When you click on any of these ingredients, it's changed both in the ingredient list and in the directions with the correct amounts. No extra work added. Usually, you'd have to go to Google, find a substitute that works, go back to your recipe, do all the math, and hopefully be done before the day ends. With Flavorfy, it's just hover, click, and you're done. It's that simple. So, who wants to be part of a company expected to be worth over a million dollars in just five years? A company that has the potential to help so many people make their lives easier. You can help by investing in FlavorfyRecipes.com. Thank you so much for your time. All right, thanks, Sean. We now turn to the question and answer portion of the competition. Judges will ask a few questions. You will have one minute to respond to those questions. We're going to start with Judge Patty Saunders Redding. Please ask the first question. Hi, Sean. Congratulations. How do you uh, plan on having this to scale? Are you going to do some search engine optimization so that somebody will have this come up first when they search? for that and I also think it's a good idea that you come up with because so many people have dietary certain dietary restrictions right now so I think that so currently I'm using Wix which has a good SEO program allowing um, websites to be found on Google for searches more easily that's one way I am planning to um, allow users to find flavor by recipes but in the future 
um, I'm planning to upgrade to a more sophisticated and more professional web development service, which would allow me to have more specific SEOs and allow users, for example, if they search up like ingredient substitutes for butter, then Flavorify recipes will come up. And that will also come with a bigger platform and having more users. Judge Dr. Jackie, what is your question? Great job, great job on the presentation. Um, have you given any thought to how you might be able to expand the company beyond being just internet-based to be able to reach people in, um, for example, rural areas that might not have good internet access? So um, I'm planning to expand in ways where ingredient boxes could potentially be shipped to someone's house and they get to choose the ingredients in these boxes, just making it more custom overall for them. Um, another way I'm planning to expand long term would be maybe a YouTube channel or a TV channel, which would allow people to have a, um, which would give users a wider range of ways that they can find out about us. Judge Sheil, last question. Hey Sean, first of all, uh, your user interface looks really clean, and I think that's going to go a long way. How do you anticipate creating the content in the future? And do you, do you think you may at some point crowdsource the creation of the content? So yeah, I am planning on allowing users themselves to upload recipes directly to the website. I think that can be extremely beneficial to allowing customers to have their own communities and interact with each other on the site, which would also be a great way to get them to add as much value as possible. So that would be something I would be looking into. And to ensure that all these recipes have quality, I would allow users to also rate recipes, rate substitutes in recipes, comment on recipes, everything to make the best well-rounded experience for everyone. With hard work, creativity, and determination, a kid can take the beginning of a good idea and turn it into something real, substantial, and valuable. The Young Entrepreneurs Academy, yay! teaches middle and high school students how to start and run their own real businesses. Active Yay supporter and Saunders Scholars Competition founder Phil Saunders started his career as an attendant at his family's gas station. He recognized the market need to create full service hubs for truckers transporting goods around America. Travel Centers of America was born and grown into the largest full service truck stop chain in North America. This was just the start for Phil Saunders, as he has continued to influence many successful businesses throughout his career. His passion for business led him to endow the Saunders College of Business at RIT and to create the Saunders Scholars Competition for the Young Entrepreneurs Academy. I really believe in what Ye is doing, fostering entrepreneurship, bringing these young kids into a classroom, working with them, coming up with great ideas, Putting together a financial statement, it just gets them started early in life at what America is really about in fostering entrepreneurship. I would describe Yay students as the leaders of their class, kids who think out of the box, have good ideas. Um, going into the A program just allows them to get out and really voice their opinion and do a dream that they've probably had in the back of their mind for quite a while. I see Ye in five years hopefully covering most of America. I think the key to that will be to get schools, business leaders in different states to understand how great a program this is and getting behind it and supporting it because this can be a good thing for America.